By the way, how on earth did luck and a... the village I grew up in was the dullest. But look at me now. I see. Is this really how you want to play it? Listen, I'm being hunted too. It's only a matter of time. I can't afford sympathy.
We're lucky the snow has been wet. Why is that lucky? Wrong. In Helavis, depending on the direction of the wind and what the... There's a volcano nearby? It's actually quite a ways up north. Mount Killeraus, it's called. Hmm. Mount Kill... It's got a nice ring to it. No, and I'm not interested. This is Dial's tail. Did you we found him dead in the Lake of Tar. Is that so? You can doubt me all you like, but I brought you the deem- True enough. Good. Get to work on my ship then. I'm afraid we can't. We still need Lady Teresa's permission- I'm in a hurry. It would be much worse- You wouldn't! It's a trade. Repair the ship on the beach and I'll sail- <sighs> Very well. I'll find you your shipwrights. We'll see you at the shore. Hey, Velvet. This would be a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our equipment. How about it? What are you talking about? You don't know? We didn't have anything like that in our village. All the more reason, then. Come on, let's go! H hey! You don't need to be so pushy. That's just how I am. Get used to it. Come on! And that's how it's done. Get it? I suppose. It seems like kind of a hassle. Ah, maybe at first, sure. But once you get it down, it'll be second nature. You'll eventually learn how to maximize your personal strengths through wise upgrading and dismantling. It does seem useful. Right? If you plan to continue your crusade, upgrading may give you the edge you need. Of course, those who are inadequately prepared for battle probably won't end up on the winning side. That's certainly true enough. And hey, if it'll make me stronger, I'm sure I'll figure it out. If it'll help me take him down.
Well, it looks like we'll get the repairs we need. Maybe, but that's only half of our problem. Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can. But we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any free sailors around. Hey, Velvet, do the demons you kill turn back into humans? Huh? What are you talking about? Remember the demon that attacked us near the coast? When it died, it turned back into a human. Every demon I've killed has stayed a demon. So, I was just wondering what was different. Do demons stay demons when they die? But what about Nico and the villagers I killed? Maybe it's just a case-by-case -case sort of thing. Who cares? A corpse is a corpse, whether it's human or demon. Yeah. I guess being human again doesn't help much if you're already dead. Exactly. All that matters is that the demons I devour make me stronger. Nothing more. She's hopeless. Her keel's busted. Her keel? You could say she's like a man with a broken back. And how in blazes did you end up running aground here? I wouldn't think it possible. If you can't help, that's enough. Go back to town. What now? Do we try- I can't think of anything else. I just hope we have time. Oh, Imperian Nominat, hear my prayer. Blessings and honor unto thee. This frail flesh a sacrifice to be thy foundation. 
sister. Oh, Oscar! What brings you here? You, your face! What happened to you? A demon got the better of me. I'd been summoned back to the Abbey, but I thought I'd stop by on my way. My... my poor brother. I'm so sorry. There is pain, but I can still fight. The scar will serve to remind me of my inexperience. An underhanded foe, no doubt. No. The demon saps her enemy's strength with her left hand and turns it against them. It was a girl with black hair and eyes full of fire. She poses a threat for even a seasoned Praetor. Please, take care, dear sister. It was her! Teresa? Understood. I will. Worry not. A failure as minor as this is not the end of the world. To be honest, I came hoping you would cheer me up like that. Well, I do believe I recognize those earrings. Of course. I treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. I must take my leave now. Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. I wasn't stowing away, you twit! I merely boarded without permission! You! You're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Your tortures are useless against the mighty Mogilu! Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him! Rust on my blade. <laughs> Just wait until I pull up. You'll be rushed on my throne. <laughs> I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid. Oh! 
There was word from the Abbey. They're holding a public execution. Is that so? Sounds like a real nasty character. I'd stay away from the city if I were you. It's a common tactic for Lady Teresa. Are you saying I'm a criminal? Pop That's why I'm warning you. Lady Teresa's top class, even among exorcist praetors. I a witch. It has to be Mogilu, huh? It looks like the Abbey is on to us. We'd best assume they've already found the tunnel. No sense trying to buy a ship now. Then don't buy one. Steal it. Steal a ship from Hell of V's. Just the two of us. We have at least one other on our side. Dial? He said he can navigate. If he joins forces with us, all the better. That could be. But what happens to Mogilu? I suppose that's up to the Abbey. Let's head to Dial's cave. <sighs> Sorry, Mogilu. Rest in peace. You really go all out, don't you? What do you mean? Look, you're using Dial, threatening the guild, abandoning Mogilu. You see? I'm not abandoning her. She can take care of herself. Nothing stops you, does it? There's a lot I don't understand about Mogilu, but I know she won't be killed so easily. Besides, I'm sure she's already told the Abbey everything she knows about us. You're probably right. That means we need an ace up our sleeve. Like a demon they believe to be dead. All right. One last good sharpening and I'll call this blade done. <sighs> Do your blades need sharpening too? I'd be happy to take care of it for you if you want. 
No thanks. I was taught never to leave my lifeline in the hands of another. Sure. Sounds like you found a good teacher. <sighs> I don't care if it's me who does it, as long as you're keeping them well maintained. Just in case you don't already know, after you sharpen your blades, you should rub them with clove oil and wipe them down with wool. Yeah, I know. I was taught that too. By the man who killed my brother. Food's ready. It's nothing special. Are we ready for this? Disruption! 
on my blade.
on my blade. It's a We're finished here. Let's go. What are you two doing back here? Things didn't work out. <laughs> Awfully presumptuous. I'm a demon. Comes with the territory. <laughs> you got me there. But are you sure? It's suicide. Maybe not. I have a plan. The exorcists have a hostage they're using to lure me into- hmm. Then we can sneak in through the tunnel into the store. No. I expect they'll have an ambush, so instead, we hit them with a direct frontal assault. You call that a plan? No. I call it a feint. As their forces converge on the front, after that, the two groups meet up and we all sail away. Answer me this, then. Who's making this frontal assault of yours? I will, naturally. That works. When? Tomorrow. Can we rest here until then? Make yourself at home. Nothing so comfy as a bed of tar. Velvet? Hey, Velvet? Uh, Muffy? You were crying out. Were you having a nightmare? I was... Oh, Luffy, it was terrible! Hey, come on, let go of me. I have to go. I have something important to do. What's that? Arthur told me to come meet him at the Shrine of Tranquility.
Are you all right? You were tossing and turning. I'm fine. It was just a dream. If you don't want to go with me, I understand. That wouldn't do. How can I repay you if you die? You are an odd one. Am I? I always thought of me as just me. Velvet, who's this Artorius? My target. He killed my brother. <laughs> We're ready. Dial should be at the entrance. Let's get going then. Sleep well? Just fine, thanks. And your special concoction? Ready for deployment anytime. Velvet. We'll sail together if you live, Velvet. You've got a sharp tongue. <laughs> right then. We're off to attack Helavis. That reminds me. Where do you think that boy who took the compass ran off to? Halavis, I'd imagine, since Malakim are always tethered to exorcists. That means we might run into him during our attack. Are you getting squeamish about killing the boy because you feel indebted to him for healing you? No. If he gets in the way, I'll take him down. But... But? I have to remember to thank him first. Right. Does that bother you at all? No, not really. I just know that Malakim don't taste very good. Malakim don't suit your palate? I'll call that a positive. Who's there? Oh, I'm pretty sure you were expecting me. Hold up! Yeah. It's up! 
The townspeople are gone. I was right. It's a trap. for demon lady you're here you're the demon that escaped the island what if I am you hurt my dear Oscar you will pay for that slowly <laughs> Come and face me, that exorcist! I am honor-bound to aid you. Beware her left arm! <laughs> Should be simple for you.
I admire your endurance, but you will regret this soon enough. Number two. You can't finish your own work. <sighs> Coward. I won't fall for your taunts. That arm of yours is too dangerous. Besides, to dispose of demon filth, one ought to use an appropriate tool. Well, I've got tools of my own. Tools of flamestone, sulfur, and oil. Those will explode. What? Our store is a flamestone! <laughs> Rokuro! I'm with you! Teresa! The ships! The port! It's all on fire! <laughs> Orderlies, put out the fires at once! Move it! We're ready to set sail! Oh, <laughs> 
Praetor Teresa, I give you this order. Do it, number two! The kid's gonna blow himself up! To think you were a demon! The crybaby exorcist? I wasn't crying! Two Praetors, not looking good. Knock them back. That's an order. Knock them back, or I'll eat you. An order? <laughs> ah! Now! <laughs> Why? Why would they do such a thing to us? We're finished! Helavis is no more! Curse you. Curse you. Such ghastly demons. The Abbey, no, Lord Artorius himself must be informed. <laughs> 